Hi guys, welcome back to Bee Speed Shop. So in this video I'm going to be finishing off my wooden buck mould piece for my uh, floor repair patch. I'm going to be making a little uh, hammer form tool so I can form the strengthening channels in the actual uh, floor repair patch as well. I'm going to try and make the uh, repair patch as well this weekend and uh, if I have time I'll see if I can get it prepped and welded in. So before I can actually finish off my wooden buck mould piece I want to get the old piece of floor cut out first so I can then test fit it to this just to make sure the channels line up with this and then I can adjust the width of these if I need to and um, also to make sure the edge piece fits in where this steps in just to make sure I've got the depth and the width right and then I can adjust these edges if I need to like grind a bit more off of here so it fits properly and then once that's done I just need to make my hammer form tool for the little channels and then I can start making a repair patch. So I drilled out all of my spot welds along this back edge on both faces, well all the ones I could find anyway. Um, so now it's just a case of, I've marked it there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in a little bit and cut it a bit shorter and then once I make my panel I can uh, cut them both to the same length so that they're a nice tight fit. So what I'll probably do is come along this edge, cut it along there, I might have to cut into that a little bit just to um, uh, on the inside panel where that edge folds up so I can cut along there and then the same uh, down there I just got to cut in a little bit so I'll quickly get that marked up and then get it cut out So I've trimmed up along this back edge now just to get this panel fitting much better and I'm quite happy with the way all of these line up and this lines up. I did take a little bit too much off there, there's a little bit of a gap but I'm not too bothered about that. I can always just uh, adjust the panel once I've made it, I can always just uh, tap that edge out, in or out, whichever way it needs to go. And um, I've put a little radius along that edge as well just so it matches what was already in here. And then hopefully it will fit into the car nicely as well once I've made the panel. Uh, so I think now it's uh, I've got to make my uh, little hammer tool so I can form these uh, uh, strengthening channels. So I've got a piece of round bar and what my aim is to do is just to uh, recreate this edge. So I've just got a chamfer either side of it just to make that, um, it's like a trapeze kind of shape where it comes out like that. So I'll quickly make that, just grind the edges off so it fits in here and then I can um, start making a new panel.
So I've started to make my uh, form tool. So obviously I just ground the corners off and then I've just uh, gone over it with my little belt sander just to smooth it out a bit. But I'm really happy with the uh, shape it's taken and I've cleaned up a bit of the old floor just to uh, test fit it in. And I'm really happy with the way it's fitting. I mean, there is a slight little bit of movement but I'm sure that's fine. It's fairly close for what I need. I'm quite happy with that. So I've uh, made my little hammer form tool now and I've just uh, ground away a step on either side so it fits uh, between my uh, channels in my boards that I've made quite nicely. So obviously now uh, what I can do is I just got to come up and clean up these edges a little bit more. Just there's a few spots where it's a bit tight and I'm quite happy with um, where this is because I've measured it and uh, the centre of this flat section is pretty much the centre of the bar so I don't want to adjust this anymore and move that off centre, what I'd rather do is come in and just clean these up a little bit. So I've cut myself out a piece of fresh steel now and uh, I've left it big on purpose because there's a bit more I want to cut out of the floor so rather than making several smaller patches I can just do it in one big piece and try and fit it in. Um, I've not marked out these corners here that I need to notch so that I can then do uh, so it will bend up round that edge there uh, and I've also put a mark on it just there so I know where to line up my jig uh, so what I'm going to do now is get this lined up again and I'm just going to drill clamp it in place drill a couple of the holes put a couple of nuts and bolts for it and then I'll drill out the rest of the holes so I've got my piece of metal clamped into my wooden buck or mould and uh, I'm quite happy with the way it's fitting. Um, when I did the first couple of holes down this end when I drilled and then the whole wood piece moved that way ever so slightly so it is um, off the line here a little bit but I purposely left this long just in case that happened anyway and it's not very much, it's like a mil, maybe two at most so it doesn't really matter, I can always just trim that edge to square it up anyway. But I'm really happy with the way it's all fitting. Uh, a couple of the washers are overlapping so what I could do is either drill the hole in the washer out slightly bigger or just uh, grind a bit off the edge of these washers so it all fits together nicely. There's one, two, three, four that are overlapping. So I'll just uh, figure something out to sort those out. Um, but I've got to take the piece of metal out anyway so that I can uh, just cut in these little notches so that when I fold this edge up and these two edges, it's not. it needs to... Um, it's going to want to shrink along that edge there, so I'm just going to cut that out, hammer those up, form them, and I'll just put a little weld up there just to join it all together. So I'm going to come back tomorrow morning first thing and uh, get this finished off, and then we can start having a go at trying to shape these channels. So I'm back this morning to work on my repair panel I was making, and I realised that when it comes to hammering this edge up, there's nothing uh, here supporting this. So I've got a piece of the old box tube which I'm just going to clamp on there so that when I'm working along uh, this section of the edge I've got something to um, hit up against so I know it'll make a nice uh, square edge when I bend this edge up. So I just did this um, little edge as a test off camera just to make sure this was going to work and it's uh, come up quite nicely along this edge, it's all nice and square. It's got a nice little radius on that side as well so I'm quite happy how that's come out. Uh, so what I'll do now is I'll clamp my bit of box tube along this bit to support that, uh, fold over this edge and then I'll see about starting work on this uh, middle edge. So unfortunately this little jig hasn't worked out the way I was hoping it was going to. Um, as I was trying to form this piece, um, it's uh, not taking the right shape here and it's actually split the wood just up here. Uh, so it's not taking the right shape in here. And it's actually uh, started to split the metal along that gap there where I cut that V out. Um, I'm not going to give up on this just yet. I am still going to try to see if I can hammer form uh, these strengthening channels. And what I'll do to fix this piece is just uh, cut that piece out. Uh, I think cut a 20mm strip and just uh, bend it to that shape. And then just weld in uh, along this edge and smooth it out to make that edge along there. So uh, I'll see if I can, I'll give this a go, see if I can form those channels, but if not, um, 
I'm not sure what I'll do yet. I'll think of something. Unfortunately, my little fixture I made, uh, my little wooden buck piece, hasn't really worked the way I was hoping it would. Um, so I've been working this panel for a little while now, and it hasn't really taken any shape at all. I mean, there is a little bit, probably half a mil to a mil at most. So it's just taken too long to sort of hammer form it by hand. So I think I'm going to call this attempt number one and call it a fail. But I do have a plan for next weekend of how I can continue with this panel. I don't want to scrap it just yet. So my plan for attempt number two of trying to form uh, these channel pieces. Obviously I've already got this uh, top die section. Uh, so what I think I might do is see if I can find a block chunk uh, from work. And uh, create a bottom die. So now I've got two pieces. And uh, what I'm going to do is cut that off and uh, see if I can even machine like a step in the side of it. So it'd be like, it'd be cut there like that kind of shape. So then I can find a way of mounting that in one side of the vise and mount the uh, bottom die in the other side of the vise. And then what I can do is just carefully feed the panel through and uh, every, every so often just um, squish it a bit more in the vise until it sort of takes that shape. Uh, but what I want to do is uh, make sure I have the right depth on here and uh, somehow create a stop on there and on the bottom piece as well. So the bottom piece will be shaped where it comes up like that with like a stepped piece. Um, the reason for doing that is um, when I'm squishing it together, the two pieces either side will keep the rest of the panel nice and flat. It won't uh, like if it's just this shape. Um, it might have, it might um, sort of bend the panel up a bit more. So rather than being like flat across, it sort of comes up at an angle either side. So having those flat bits either side will try and keep the two sides flat of each channel. Um, so yeah, that's what I need to do for next weekend is try and create a bottom die. So I can try uh, squishing them together in the vise to create those channels. Um, if that doesn't work, um, I don't know what I'll do. I'm going to be leaving this video here for now. Unfortunately, attempt number one at trying to recreate the floor panel was a fail. Um, but I do have a plan for attempt number two. So I need to make myself a um, bottom die tool. So I've got a top and a bottom and I can either try and hammer form it that way. Or I could find a way of mounting them in the vise and trying to squish in that strengthening channel in the floor. So I was just sort of doing this piece as a bit of an experiment to see if I could make the panel with what I have available to me. I don't have access to um, other big tools like uh, bead rollers or other hydraulic press tools like that. So I was just trying to see if I could uh, recreate the panel by hand. Um, unfortunately, first attempt was a fail, but I've got a plan for attempt number two. So thanks for watching the video.